Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be speaking about not getting hacked again. Have you ever been hacked? Don't you want to be safe? Don't you want to avoid getting compromised or hacked or anything like that? So stay to the end of this video and I'll show you some tips and tricks. Again, please like, subscribe, and share this video for anyone that can use these tips and tricks. We're almost at 50,000 subscribers. I really appreciate everyone's uh, participation and support along this journey. So let's get into it, right? So if you ever got hacked, I'm sorry. I've known plenty of companies, plenty of folks, and especially vulnerable folks like the elderly. And these are the, you know, these are the people that these scammers and hackers or whatever lean towards because they're vulnerable and they're not up to date with the technology, right? So the one thing I have here to avoid getting hacked is use mobile-based solutions, mobile-based payments like Apple Pay, Google Pay. Why? Because you don't have a physical card, right? If you drop your physical card, if you go ahead and go buy gas or you put it into a, into a credit card POS system, maybe there's a scammer on there or a little... Uh, scanner that can scan those information, scan the information to compromise that uh, information. So obviously protect any of your devices, right? This is still on the first one, protect your mobile device with biometric signatures or strong passcodes, right? So, and always make sure you keep your device on you, right? So that's number one. Number two, obviously, I think I've said this in many other videos is use strong passwords. Use credentials that are maybe a passphrase and also associate this with a password manager like Bitwarden, LastPass, you know, the list goes on and on. So make sure you have this information in, in, a, in a vault so you can use interchangeable passwords, you can make passphrases, you can randomize the passwords. Like some of my passwords, I don't even know them, right? They're just random willy-nilly passwords. So that's number two, right? So number three is always use multi-factor authentication whenever possible, right? So if you have a Gmail, make sure you get it sent to your YouTube or, you know, if you're using at work or, you know, maybe using Duo, maybe using some kind of a, a, a dongle, some kind of authentication mechanism to authenticate to that device or to that uh, service, right? So, of course, if a malicious, if a malicious actor or an adversary gets your logon credentials and gets that information, what can, what can they do? You can't stop them from trying to get into your bank information, your Facebook, your Instagram, whatever, Twitter, whatever platform you utilize, because when you, they have your credentials, they can just log in and it's not prompting them for any MFA, multi-factor authentication. Right, so it just makes it harder for them to uh, compromise. Yes, you can use tokens, you can use session tokens, you can use, you know, all that stuff. But for your normal user, you're not gonna, you know, this is more for the normal user. So that's number three. And so number four, God forbid you ever got compromised, you know, say for example, social security numbers or anything like that, please contact, you know, experts, right? And contact your, your, your social security, your insurance company, your health insurance, whatever. So, you know, you can put some kind of lock or alert on your information, right? So this would definitely be, you know, helpful. God forbid you had identity theft. I actually had identity theft like about 15 years ago uh, when I did my taxes. And now I have to have a code every year, which is annoying because I can't just go do my taxes. I have to wait until I get my code every single year. But I guess it's a one layer of security, right? Someone cannot just go willy nilly using my information. So, you know, the fifth one here is install a security suite. Yes, as a security professional, us security nerds, we hate antivirus, endpoint protection, all that stuff. But for your normal willy nilly user, please install you know, some kind of endpoint protection 
like I do have some EDR applications running on this desktop in one of my laptops, right? Just so I can do some invasions and, and some practice on, on some other stuff. But using this will mitigate some of the, the damages, right? Done by different hackers, adversaries. And there's, you know, there's different kinds of, of security suites out there. You can go Google whatever's best for you. Um, this is not a sponsor for any kind of, you know, endpoint protection. But uh, yeah, that's all. It's a quick video. I just wanted to get some information out there how to avoid getting hacked again because there were some family members uh, that were compromised and I was just writing up some ways for them to harden their situation and not get hacked again. So the title of this video will probably be five ways to avoid getting hacked again because this person has been compromised with the whole uh, text message for Amazon shipment, you click on a link and blah, blah, blah. And I made a Amazon video, you know, relating to that and they got compromised again. So, you know, it is what it is. So they're always going to target the weak. So please share this video for with whoever would need this information. And if you have any questions, please leave a description, you know, leave a comment in the description below. And uh, thank you for watching. And until next time, uh, have a good have a good day. All right. Thank you.